Sword and Shield, Elite Four, or no, is no, it no, the, no Sun, Sun and Moon, Moon, Sun and Moon, and then it also has the battle for Zolkaleo as well, which is cool because like you don't have a lot of songs where it takes half of one and half of another. Usually, if it takes multiple, it's like oh, here's the melody where it just plays a bunch of shit. Now me, I usually go for the Lord Keeper Zena because that oh, song, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that song is so godlike. I feel that. Ooh, good anti with that. All right, so we got. We get somebody with big buttons versus somebody with fast buttons and just super fast movement. Yeah. So I don't. Ling Ling's gonna have to go off the experience for this one because I feel like I look at this matchup. Oh, up and she I almost got like the jab block, but Peach was actually too low when she like flopped on the flat. Ugh. Unfortunate for him to actually hit that. Order, the one where he's gonna land. Oh. The mix, I hate that. Is that is ridiculous. Yeah. They made it so it's less safe, but that, that you you definitely still don't want to push a button off of that. Oh, absolutely not. Ling Ling's the peach is still in your face and she's just there with the crown smack. The booty is still strong. Yes. You gotta respect that ass. Ooh. He could have died. Diego choosing to poke his shield with that ass. Yeah. Safely just trying to like make his way in, and then he gets that burst option with the dash attack. Ooh! Sounds unfair? No. Alright, good ninja back here is probably one of the best moves I've ever seen in this game. That move, yeah. that move is huge, carries you so far. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's also like, oh wow, just as fast as... I could be capping, but I think it's just as fast as Mega Man's back air. I think it's like one of those frame 4 back airs where it's like frame 4, frame 7, frame 10. Like, it, it's, it's very quick. It definitely doesn't kill as soon as Mega Man's play. No, it, it, not. No, it is still a, a quick and ferocious option for it sure. Is, it definitely is. Ooh! I got hit. Water right there. Vagrant's sitting at a 141. Oh! Air captain the roll. Are we crazy. gonna find a way off this ledge? No, we're not. Finally, the first stock has been taken. Death by sparkles. Bruh. And the food is gonna do it? What? And we're back to a neutral game. Oh! Jeez. Tactical new. No, what is up with Ling Ling's RNG, bro? Dude, he got like three stitches in that one game. Yeah, three stitches, three stitches against. Who was it? Was it Zane? Yes, it was three stitches against Zane. And then he pulled. Then, then the, 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 the bomb right here. Like, come on, Ling Ling, you sure you're not you sure you're not game sharking here? Yeah, you, you might have got some lessons from Pierce. <laughs> oh man, Oresco, local cheater. Local cheater. All right, nice, nice. Both of these guys at in each other's face. Two, Got two, the dot two. eyes. This is definitely what I want to call a violent game. Yeah, this is this is a very like ball tile matchup. Like I feel like both characters can blow up against each other, but right now Peach just very much playing with the lead, making Greninja come to her. One hundred percent. Nice wait on the ledge, but and that's like almost doing it. PS2 is a very long stage, so you can, without fear, kind of like DI to the right on a lot of things. I was actually scared for Ling Ling right there when I saw him air dodge. I thought he was going to yeah. be like... Oh, is that... Ooh, and he charged a little bit he too! He missed the tech on the plat. That is a setup Jaygrun is very familiar with. That dash tech's going to take it, and yet again, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. That dash tech was nice and fresh too. None of these players have held like a stock lead for even like... 20 seconds. Ah man, this matchup is too explosive for you to hold it until you like stock tank at all. It's like both of the characters want to oh, be in your Back face. it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back it up. Whoa. Ain't no peach with a bouncer. Peach, you see the way to ask oh. move? Whoa. Greninja be bouncing with those nares. He is a frog. <laughs> That is true, actually. You know, I don't, I don't really <laughs> take that into account. It's like, yo, why does Greninja jump so high? He yeah, yeah, yeah. got frog legs. <laughs> My man's got the Air Jordans on. Yes, he does. Ooh, look at him trying to get that down air to probably hop on Link's oh. head. He's trying to bait something out here. And <gasps> <gasps> caught the edge of the down tilt? Oh, no. I don't, was that good DI? I don't think he checked his I don't DI, know. Well, regardless, Jaygrun taking that first game. Mm-hmm. When are this fight Pokemon? Is this 
What is this? semis. Is this loser semis? This is loser semis, right? Yep, loser semis. Oh yeah, so winner does play Pokemon. Okay, game number two. Three, two, one, dun, go! Dun, dun, dun. Another Pokemon stage here with Kalos. Uh huh. Definitely a stage where Greninja has a lot of like long uh, space to just like run back and forth and pressure Peach. Yeah, definitely not a stage that I would want to take uh, yeah. Greninja too. But Peach kind of likes the stage too because once he gets a hit, yeah, you know, a real platform to You, can, you can just keep holding forward with those nares, and you don't really have much to escape to. Not at all. But I think the walls might help Greninja in this matchup because he might be able to uh, stall a little bit more on ledge and not take as so much damage. Right now, he is just taking the brunt of the booty here. Yeah, that was really good combo. Ooh, nice. He knew the, the side B was coming. Ah, uh, but he's a little too late on that up air. He's getting nared right out of his combo. Ooh, Ooh hello. That was such a good up smash. Explosion! What the hell? Just slip right past him and kick him right in his jaw. That's what we call a draw buster. Alright, I just gotta find a way to get yep. past Ling Ling on oh. the ledge. I'm telling you, Ling Ling's like an iron fortress on that ledge, man. Doesn't let yeah, anyone actual. get past here for free. We gotta pay that toll. And it's so scary because so many of like Peach's aerials can just like kill and they linger just like that. Like just that. like <laughs> yeah. It's like you called it out, man. Right now, once again. Ooh, oh. hello? That forward again missing Ling Ling missing his combo, but it frame trap into another hit? It's like just when you think you're safe, Peach just comes out with another one. Oh, pulls out the golf club. The coverage coming out from Peach is from, I should say from Ling Ling. It is so immaculate with this character. For real. Oh, choosing not to go for the ledge. Just wants to poke his shield a little bit more. Yeah, Ling Ling has been like narrowing out of a lot of these strings of uh, J Grunts. A lot of them are, I wouldn't say a lot of them are like, not just not true. With the big red, I feel like he's missing a little bit of an execution on all of them. Yeah. I know you can do up to one to up air. Yeah, for sure. I feel like Greninja sets up a lot of like frame traps, but he just narrows just being like so quick and lingering and strong. Like he, he doesn't really fear much for just narrowing out of a lot of this pressure. Mm -mm. And doesn't even put himself into a, doesn't even put into a, himself into a lot of bad situations either. Yeah. Oh? That's that almost doing it. Not quite yet. That's up here and that's it. Oh, that's dang. This is exactly what Jay Grunt needs to Mind get himself been, back in this game. Mind you, he's been missing every up tilt upper for like the longest time this whole set. Oh, good parry. Very intense. Nice catch in the Tekken place. Right, neither of them want to like. Neither of them want to get in each other's face. They both know what explosive plan. Right, right. Come. They're at that the right percent where like any like falling like aerial or just the right hit is gonna lead into like a lot of damage. And I feel like whoever gets that hit in this scenario will just snowball to the rest of the game. Exactly. Both oh. of them play with just an amazing advantage state. That's not a place you want to be versus versus Greninja. Yep, that's for sure. Ooh, dot eyes. Oh, boy. He finds his way out of there. Just fades in with the fair again. Ooh. He's got a nice job staying there. Choosing to walk in with the shield. Yes. Not gonna he's, he's, he's choosing the moments where he, you know, rushes in very carefully because yeah. any any wrong move and, and Peach will blow you up for it. I don't want to get a chance. Like, you can see what he's playing too. He does not want to give Ling Ling any momentum. He wants right. to hold this game for as long as he can. Just Ling Ling just holding his position. Like he's not moving like like constantly, but in the area he's occupying, he is just putting out so much pressure. Just like, oh, if you want to like dash in on me, you got to be wary. I'm like holding there. I'm like doing whoa, this. And whoa, whoa, whoa. A little, uh, a little oh, sus DI come sus out. Suspect DI, but we're back on stage. Ling Ling doesn't have as much stage, but 
He has a turnip. And uh That's all the pressure he needs. Yep. Oh, this is like one hit away. One hit away. This is so tense. Wow. Falls out falls of the dash out? Yeah, if you hit with the tip of it, you like fall out. It's like similar to Ness. Ah. Oh. Lingling Ling is really banking on these like fade in forward airs. Because he knows that's going to kill him. Shield is so low, he's going to get shield poked. Oh. Oh, that Nero almost killed. Oh, he's got to go. Oh. Hits him with the water. Oh. He air dodged. He tried to set up for a down tilt forward air, but he unfortunately doesn't get it. Both of them, none of them want to commit to the grab. Yeah. Each of them too scared to do so. Yeah, I feel like Greninja could even possibly kill with an up throw at this percent. <laughs> oh, but he what? for the side B. Bets it all on that, and that'll do it. That was such a scramble of a...